that's the thing you have to really take note of. They say that 40% of our focus is on things that won't happen. Now let's say you are a superhero. Let's say that focus is your superpower. If 40% of your focus is on things that won't happen, somebody tell me out loud, how good of a superhero will you be? She said, not good at all. Someone else. Incompetent. Someone else. Mindset. Who would be a superhero? Check this out. Well, if 30% of your focus is on things that cannot be changed, that's 70%. Now what kind of superhero would that person be? What do you think? They're not a superhero. Well, if, come on now, 12% is focused on other people's criticisms. Now what kind of superhero do you think that person pans out to be? Very questionable, would you say? 10% of your focus is on your health. Now that's a good thing. That's a good thing, I would think. Because you gotta be healthy. You wanna do the right thing for yourself. Nutrition, weight, and all that good stuff. I've been trying, I ain't gonna lie. For the past six months, I've been going to the gym three days a week. I fall off some days, but I get back up and I keep going. I don't like it. <laughs> My body needs it. <laughs> so I do it. But the point is, that's a good reason to be distracted or have a focus on something else. But that's 82%. 82%, am I right, seven, eight? 92%. What do you think the other 8% is? What do you think the other 8% is? Future. Future. Anyone else? Family. Family? Kind of, yeah. The other 8% are real concerns. So what are real concerns?